Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we want to discuss something different about the Google Drive integration. In order to do that, we're going to take a look at the Google Drive Power Up. So we're going to look at the menu for the board that we're in, and then we're going to enable the Google Drive Power Up. And when you do this, you may have to connect your Google Drive through your Google account if you do, then you'll need to go through the steps to do that. Now, we'll need to configure Google Drive, and we do that through this gear. Once you've done that, you'll close up the Power Ups menu. Now, the Google Drive integration does allow you to access all of your Google Drive files from your card, but that's not the application that we want to focus on. When you click Google Drive at the top right of your Trello board, you're going to see a link that says create slides presentation and when we create slide presentation what's going to happen is Google Drive is going to open up a slide presentation but it's going to use all of the content from your Trello board so that means that if you structure all of your Trello content in a way that you want it to appear in a slide you can present or train with the content based on these particular lists so, for example, if we were to click Present Slides, what will happen is Google will gather the content, and then we're going to click Open Presentation. Your Google Drive will then open up all of the card content into a presentation. Of course, you can change the theme and then rearrange the content. But basically, as you see, Card 1 in this first position. It's the same card one that is first in this slide presentation. So this feature will allow you to take any board with all of the lists available and present it in a Google slide presentation. That means that you can take the content, you can train with it, or you can train someone or a group of people with the tasks that need to be done in a particular list. And once again, we've enabled this in one board that doesn't have any other power-ups available because we're using the free account. If you want to have more than one power-up in operation on a particular board, you will need one of the business class Trello accounts to do that. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.